Hello and welcome back to the Crooked Man. My name is Cat and I will be your guide on this crooked adventure. I didn't get a freaking snack because I don't know what the hell to snack on. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. Controls are really not very good on this, I must say. Oh my god. It does 20 health points per hit. Ow. God, I don't want to play with the arrow keys. Why can't I play with WASD and like the enter key instead of arrows in space? Arrows in space is stupid. There goes my phone. Get back up there. Okay, so if I wait to ambush it. Oh my god. Uh. Haha. <laughs> I have your traps now. Thanks for the uh, intense piano music. Oh, nice. Did I get it? <laughs> I win. <laughs> David. David. David, are you okay? Yeah, I don't think it'll, yeah, I don't think it'll chase us anymore. That's what you think. Unless this game is really short. But never mind me. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt, but Sissy, what's wrong? Are you not feeling well? I mean, after that, why? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did that horrible monster attack me? I just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have my memory of him at least. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I, can I not even love him? No, I hate it. Someone, somebody help. Sissy. Uh. Please don't cry. Crying won't do any good. I know all too well how you feel, but... It may be tough, but you have to move on. You know that, don't you? You can't keep going on like this. I'm sure someone will understand you someday. So please, don't cry. You won't even let me cry? There's really nothing I can do? That's not what I'm saying. This is your treasure. I found it in the courtyard earlier. You decided to forget everything, right? I'm sorry, I was selfish. I know better than anyone that I can't keep going like this. I can't keep stewing over it. Hey, I, I need to forget him. Oh! It's a precious memory, but I don't need it anymore, do I? Where are we going now? Sorry, I couldn't help you, David. Whew. I hope you find who you're looking for. Yeah, thanks, sissy. Be well. Ah, Sissy! Hey, open up! Sissy, sissy! Damn it, stop it, stop it right now! Don't you lay a hand on her! Open this door! Stop! Oh, crap. Ooh. That what? <laughs> That's not what are you talking about? What? Bad end? What do you mean 
bad end. All right, one moment. All right, and back we are apparently. So now I have to uh, do this one. What's wrong? What's wrong with being a wimp? What? You mean you may feel like a sissy, but for not being able to forget him. But is that such a bad? Oh, well, if I'd have known that was the way that it was going to say things, then I would have picked that one in the first place. David. You know, I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You, too? I was dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married, and it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think... Maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of someone. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, Sissy. Thank you. David. This is your treasure, right? It's a pretty fancy box. It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand. And I know I'll always support you. Thank you, David. <sighs> I'll try harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Hey, David. Did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box d needs a key to open, so... Though I didn't lock it. A key. Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key. Haha. <laughs> no, of course not. Ah, oh, yes, that's the one, of course. The brass one for the gold box. Where did you find it? Uh, really? I picked it up around here. A key from my house up in Sissy's box. So the former tenants involved with the box. What does that mean? Probably that the fellow was her boy, her ex. I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Phone. Stay still. Oh? There's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? Can I look at your private treasured possessions? I thought so. It matches with the notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it, but I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here? Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah. He wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Alright. Be careful. Let's escort you home, Sissy. It's dark out after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, though, David. Well, I'll be off now. Do do do. Oh, not after a quick kiss. Ma! <laughs> I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. Oh, that's cute. That surprised me. Ha <laughs> But she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. And is this an address? Maybe that's where he is now. I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I find him, I'll go anywhere. Man, I want a grilled cheese right now. Like a big old glorious one. With a big pickle. Some mayo to dip it in. Man, this place was far. That took almost an entire day. Ah, uh, it sounds like grocery shopping to me. So this is the place. Looks like the school was abandoned. Looks like a hospital. No one around. Though I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let's see if I can even enter. Julius Stone Law School. Set for demolition, no entry. Hmm. Oh, hey, this is the school from that leaflet. Then maybe he is here after all.
Fire hydrant. I mean extinguisher. <laughs> the bathrooms. A list of faculty. Criminal law, John Keith. Civil law, Andrew Robinson. International law, Cindy Peterson. And criminology, Franz Moore. Oh! Philosophy of law, Lefty Lewis. <laughs> Legal history, Ray Twain. Comparative ju That. Hugh McGuire. Dr. Stacy Lizzie. Cardboard boxes. Contains cleaning tools. I remember about necessary repairs. Deep fissure in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves of the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. It's luck. I don't know I expected anything less. Ooh, shiny. Pick it up. The nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key by it. Infirmary key. A memo. Let's read it. Notice about keys. Room managers for the month. Don't lose the keys. Pile of Stacy Lizzie. Reference rooms Ray Twain. Lecture halls John Keith. Computer room Franz Moore. Lecture room Cindy Peterson and Stoyers. Hugh McGuire. I'm sorry, that is not a fire hydrant. I don't care what you say, that thing's a jukebox. It's like as big as you. Vending machines don't work. It's a shame because I would love a chocolate bar. Looks like a storeroom is locked. Looks like a store. Nope, the basement, re <laughs> the basement reference room is blocked from the other side. No! There we go. <gasps> Was there someone there? I couldn't really see them in the dark. It sounded and looked like it, and, and uh, both of those things add up, don't they? Maybe take this box of flowers and give it to them and hope they don't kill you mercilessly. They disappeared. They no longer exist. They never existed in the first place. All of your life is lies. Lies and slander and all sorts of meaningless things. Look at the useless vending machines. Look at the door that's locked. Look at the rest of these doors. And this fire hydrant. Doesn't it look like one? Why is there a fire hydrant in a building? I can understand the extinguishers, but a hydrant? There's a book. Some sort of diary. Indeed, law too needs a numeric representation. After all, basic things such as on or off, zero or one can represent much more complex numbers. Using the smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking I hold in high esteem. Though perhaps it's more the artistic notion that captivates me more than the mathematics. Lots of books. Why does this law school have math books? Boy, I'm terrible at math. I don't know. How about you? There we go. A binary number is made up of binary digits, also known as bits. Well then. Hopefully I don't have to memorize all that and the computer is not turned on. I would rather not have to remember that. I am... Numbers are not my thing. I'm wor... Written word and whatnot is more my thing. It looks like some sort of diary. I lost the note with my security box password, so I couldn't get into the computer room and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst! I thought I had it when I was waiting. Why must the text be pixelated? I thought I had it when I was writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in a book somehow? I should go look. If I used my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget, but that's risky. Of course, if you just use a random number, then you have my problem. Right? That's why I... That's why passwords... 
Jeez, the hell out of me. There's a bookshelf. Look at the bookshelf. What's about this bookshelf? Contains cleaning tools. The water doesn't come out. Another diary. Michael's dissertation made it into the the academy, uh, academic journal. I'm so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class he'd be a prodigy. I also realized he and I have the same birthday. I use my birthday as a security code, so I feel like maybe I should change it. Who are you? Lots of books, lots of books. Fridge. Lots of books, lots of books. Trash. Printer. Or copy machine, whatever. It's locked with a six-digit six pin. Oh, dear. Event information. A shiny thing. Documents are strewn on the desk. The key to the room is among them. Key to John Keith's room. Some sort of notebook. Times are changing. Our existing laws cannot serve us anymore. We must surpass the father of our law to find the true answer. A security box that requires a passcode. Lots of books that require a passcode. Could you imagine if books had a had to have a password to get in them? Ah, wait, hang on. What? Blah blah blah. Oh yeah, that's right. Wait a minute. So who's? I'm looking. John Keith. Ray Twain. No! Franz Moore? Cindy Peterson? Andrew Robinson? John Keith? Oh, I was just in here, wasn't I? Oh, what am I doing then? I, I've lost time. Uh, let's go back down. talks about events reference room did I so John paper with address paper with address lighter notebooks wrap I don't need nope that's wrong this notebook scrap no that's wrong heck Computer room parlor. So I know I'm looking for someone's birthday. Uh, someone's birthday. Da, 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 yeah. Shush phone. There's a big old book. Lost the note with the, oh yeah. Thought it was uh maybe rather just ideas passive random number. Crap. Alright. Puzzle time. International Puzzle Champion. Michael's dissertation. Michael birthday. Michael birthday. Birthday, Michael, even. Even Steven. Ray. Franz. Okay, you're gonna be back downstairs. Lefty Lewis. Hugh Maguire. Deep it, deep it, deep it, do reference room. 
computer room. Okay, so you're probably actually going to be on the bottom floor, aren't you? Just to heck with me. Faculty room. Other side. Ooh, I'm dehydrated. Should probably fix that. Janitor's room. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. Oh. Uh, I need to memorize that. Uh. I don't know if I can deal with that right now. Oh. Books about medical treatment. Found the parlor key in one of the drawers. Oh, okay. Parlor, you say? Reference computer partner. There we go. Look at these things. Oh, why did I? S I didn't mean to skip that. It appears to be wire art. It says by Ray Twain. One zero one zero one 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 one. one. Um, one zero. That's probably, you know, if my phone wouldn't fall on my keyboard, I'd probably have a much easier time doing everything. It's locked. It's locked. Where am I going again? Ray Twain. Lefty Lewis. Ewick McGuire. Ray Twain. Yeah, and you've got the... Oh, wait. Oh, 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 uh, wait, one zero, okay, so that's two, uh, what the heck is oh one? One zero is it? There's no. Oh wait. Oh, it could be nine. Could be nine. One zero zero one, and then f four, and then fifteen. So nine fifteen, maybe. Nine fifteen. Let's see about that. Nine. Ah, uh, no, no. Oh, no. One. Oh, no. One zero is two, but there is no zero one. One zero. Would it be another one? Oh, 
That's not it. <sighs> okay. Going to uh, faff about for a bit. Alright, I tried various combinations off screen. I don't really know. Uh, the one that apparently worked was 2515. Oh, I can't even find the buy. All right, whatever. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Ow. Hey, who was that? Who do you be? What are you doing in the school, you shady punk? Sh shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name and I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. Hmm. You sure? As if a robber would say they were one. What do you want, a permit? A permit, even. There's no N in there. Now you tell me who you are and if you're going to ask me. I'm D. I graduated from this school. So I came to bring back some memories. Uh, so this game is all about, like, remembering and moving on and whatnot, is it? D. That's your name. Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but it's a nickname, dummy. You think I'd tell some shade again, my real name? <laughs> well, I told you mine, asshole. Ugh, what a little brat. That's what I'm saying. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wandering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. The hell's this problem? Didn't even apologize. Pisses me off. No. All right, I don't really know what to do now. I guess I'll just stop it there for now, then I suppose. But yeah, I'm still enjoying this. Uh, apart from some various momentary lapses of knowledge, but yeah, until next time, I hope you have a lovely, wonderful night, and goodbye.